Hi, my name is Matt Drehaus. I work with Western Rivers Fly Fisher. Today we are going to do three very simple, I call them two minute winter ties. We are going to do a simple Griffiths gnat, a Sills midge, and a zebra midge. These are simple flies that are very useful in the winter. And step one, we're going to attach the thread bring it to the back. For the simple Griffith snap, what we're gonna start with is about four strands of peacock. I've just kind of gotten them together. I'm gonna trim the tips so they're about even. We're in a little bit thicker stuff. We're gonna tie down the butts at the rear of the fly here, and we're gonna go to the bend. We'll just set that aside for a second. Now I've already chosen a saddle hackle of approximately the right size. And we're going to tie it in by the tip here and get it bound down again right towards the back there. And we'll trim the excess off the front. So we've got the four strands together. And what we're going to do is we're going to twist them up a little bit. Take the whole shooting match and we're gonna wrap it up. Now, first, you gotta apply a little bit of pressure, but not too much, so as to not break the stem of the peacock. And these are flies that shouldn't take forever to tie. And we'll take a brush, rough it out slightly. Whip it down and call it good. So for the first step, we're gonna take three stands of peacock. I'm gonna trim the tips so that they're a little thicker, a little bit more dermal. And we're gonna just wrap the tips down. Just miss one, get it on the next round. Unless we're only going to the halfway point here. For the next step, we're gonna take some partridge. And we're, instead of wrapping the partridge, we're gonna strip the soft tackles off the side. And I'm gonna peel about a dozen or so fibers right off the stem, just like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and tie those in facing forward, sticking up about the same way or the same distance as that halfway point on the fly. So that's gonna stick out the front. And the reason we're gonna do this is to be able to downsize this partridge hackle a little bit. Make a couple wraps and then trim the butts off here. We'll hide those okay, Keeping simple here, we're gonna take just like we did with the Griffiths knot. We're gonna go around the part, or the peacock, about four times with the thread. We'll rough it out a little bit. We'll take the whole enchilada here, holding it, and wrapping that forward. The thread gives us a little reinforcement on the peacock. <laughs> take those tips and we'll just force them backwards with our fingers. Make a couple turns. And this fly, I just want a sparse little wing. It doesn't need to be very long. This fly is basically tied on half of the hook, um, which allows you to use a bigger hook, but yet you're still fishing about a size 22 fly, even though it's like a size 18 hook. So we'll whip finish, and that's the sill smidge. This is a, 
just a very simple zebra midge. We put the two millimeter bead on a size 20 hook. I'm gonna take some black wire, which I put on a bobbin. This is some small wire, if I recall correctly. We're just gonna wrap some thread down the bottom, about the bend, and bring the thread back up. I'm gonna take my super high-tech black wire here, and we're gonna spiral it, kind of candy cane style or barber pole style, up the body, like so. We're gonna take a little bit of, in this case it's reddish brown dubbing, some dry fly stuff. I'm gonna apply a little bit of that to my thread. Cover over the wire a little bit and get about half of the dubbing on. Trim the wire. And kind of cover over it, hide it in the dubbing. Like so. Whip finish and you have a perfectly acceptable winter trout fly. Now, generally speaking, when I tie zebra midges, I spend extra for tungsten beads because on these small flies like this, that weight matters more. Um, versus like big stone flies where brass is fine. So anyways, hope you enjoyed, it's really easy. These are flies that fish in the winter.